Hey guys, thanks for checking out the channel. My name's Greg, if you're new here, and I had three quick tips I wanted to give you on how you can kind of customize logic or really make it more user-friendly for how you like to work. So I'll show you how I have my custom keybinds and all these things set up. So um, without further ado, if you find this helpful or interesting, do me a favor and hit like or subscribe to see more of this in the future. All right, thank you, and let's get into it. So if you're like me, you probably have plenty of third-party plugins that are actually kind of a hassle to dig through. So like, let's look at Waves. Um, every one of these plugins has a mono and stereo instance. So this is just the Horizon bundle, but I can only imagine if you had some other bigger plugin bundles, it'd be a hassle to dig through. So let's make a folder of all of our favorites. So let's go to Logic Pro, Preferences, Plugin Manager. So this shows every device or every instrument and audio unit that your device is recognized. Over here, under Category, you can select the plus button, and that'll add a new, so let's do favorite exclamation mark, because those are my top favorites. So the way you get instruments and plugins into that is by going into the manufacturer. So I have a few favorites that are absolutely the top, like Contact, Drag that in. Um, I like using Guitar Rig for guitar effects. Um, if you know me, any of these videos, you'll see me use Supercharger GT all the time. And let's go back to Waves. They have a plugin called uh, Nonlinear Summer NLS Channel that I, I absolutely love. Um, it sounds great on bass, so I'll click and drag that. And for the heck of it, when I'm mixing vocals, I like using Autotune or Waves Tune real time. So I'll click and drag. So here are all the um, the plugins that I've created in this folder. And very easily, if I hit Done, I will see them in my plugins. So I have Favorite right here. So here are all the instruments. Um, these are audio units that I can use, or kind of like audio plugins. If I wanted instruments, I just go to the same right here, and it shows instruments I can use. So very nice and easy. It's a quick way to sort all of your favorite plugins. So let's get on to the next one. So for the next thing, um, I like to use a lot of custom keybinds or key commands just to make it quick and easy. So my favorite thing that I've done to kind of quickly edit audio and MIDI, I've got a project right here and some MIDI notes right here for a piano. So it's not lining up and for this particular project I would like to have it quantized so a quick and easy thing that I've done is um, with command a you select everything Q is quantize W is extend note length to sustain and then E is going to be correct overlapping notes so they're not overlapping so enough of that let's dive into key commands so up here under logic pro go to key commands edit now there are a few ways you can go into this and really kind of dive into specifically what you're looking for. Um, my favorite thing to do is just search. So if I wanted, um, I had to like learn some of these features that I wanted to map to specific keys on my keyboard. So I knew quantize, note length to sustain, and correct overlapping notes was something I wanted to do because I do a lot of keyboard piano parts where I don't want notes overlapping and I really don't ever use like the sustain effects that plugins have. You know, I don't want to hear the damper of a piano closing and, you know, hitting the strings and stuff. So basically going into here, I select all and you can, what you can do is select one of these features, um, marker. So I can search for marker create marker. Now, I don't really care for the preset that they have, so I'm going to go up here to key and learn by key position. So let's just hit um, control shift M. It says already in use. So what is it in use for? It's in use for mute off for all. I like that one. So let's change to another one. Let's do control alt M. Okay, this one is already preset to set nudge value to bar. I don't use that. So I know I'm going to make more markers than I'm going to use this one. So let's replace that. All right. So create marker is now control option or alt M for marker. So let's go ahead and close that and uh, let's make some markers. So as I jump between sections, so let's do control marker. Let's go to the next section that I want to make a marker. Not there. 
Command Z. And let's just go to another section, kind of toward the end. I'll give a nice little demo of uh, what this song is. I missed my cue. Anyway, so that's uh, custom key mapping or key commands. All right, and another thing that I like to do quite a bit is make custom presets for channel strips and plugins. Um, this is useful because if I'm using the same instrument or I wanna have the same kind of sound on multiple tracks or multiple projects, um, you can just bring in your preset. So I have the same piano track from earlier. And I think I'm gonna do, let's just do a quick EQ compression reverb, and let's add a stereo delay, but actually I'm gonna swap those two. So it goes delay into reverb. And let's just close all these, and as quick as possible, mix this. Cool, so I have um, just a quick easy mix right here of this instrument, and let's go ahead and click above the channel strip and do save channel strip setting as. So this allows you to make a I'll just call it generic piano two, because this is the second time I've tried to record this. But basically, um, now we have a second preset. Uh, we could just slap onto any channel we want. So let's go here and make a new uh, audio file on the bottom. I'll move myself over to this size. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna move myself up here, and let's shrink it down a lot. It's more important that you see this. Um, let's go ahead to channel strip settings, and right there. Generic Piano 2. So all of our plugins load in nice and easy for whatever we do on this channel or this uh, audio track. Awesome. So let's go here and let's just say, I really like that EQ. It's simple, but it does the job. And I really like it. I'd like this to be a starting position. So let's go ahead and you can either save it as. So I will save a copy as. And let's just save this Greg's. If I can type piano, EQ, one. I like to serialize things. So there's our piano EQ, or let's just say, hey, um, next time I open up an EQ plugin, I want this to be the default. So I can do uh, save as default. So yes. So no matter what, if I open up a new channel and I want to slap on an EQ, bam, that is our default EQ. So that's really nice if you're just trying to uh, I don't know, make a customized plugin, or if you want the low pass or the low cut to always be on, um, you can always activate that and save it as a default preset. Let's just open up any random one, and let's just see under presets, Greg's Piano EQ1. There it is again. So that's a quick and easy way you can make custom plugin presets and channel strip presets, or just change your plugin default. It helps with workflow, especially if you're working on a timeline or you have a deadline for a project. That's something I would recommend doing is making custom keybinds, you know, choosing your favorite plugins, and um, just working with presets. Work, building your own presets, I should say, because a lot of the presets they have in these plugin bundles are made to get you started and just figure out what the plugin does so you can learn to use it on your own. Awesome. Well, that pretty much wraps up everything. You know, it's three quick and easy things you can do. However, I think over time, using these um, customizations in Logic Pro will really help you um, mix quicker, mix more efficiently. And when it comes down to it, do more in less time, which is kind of the goal. So if you find this helpful or interesting or think someone else needs to see this, do me a favor and share this with them or hit like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content in the future. I like doing these kinds of videos because I think they're informative and people want to learn this stuff. So thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you next time.